Ford V6 Essex, three litre. Uh, this, this engine's been converted to roller rockers, uh, yellow Terra ones. Uh, they required quite a bit of modification to get it to all work. Uh, anyway, that's all, all done and dusted. Um, I just want to go over setting the tappets. Uh, like valve clearance. Normally these would be wound out, you know, three or four turns above the above the nut. I've, I've actually adjusted these, but I just want to show you how to do it. So there's two ways to, to get this adjusted. So the first first thing to go over is to basically explain the cylinder layout. So on the left-hand side of the engine, from the radiator looking towards the engine, we've got the bank here is furthest forward closest to the radiator, and this one, this bank here is set back kind of like that so that means that this here is number one number two number three number four five and six now the firing order is one four two five three six so one four two five three six so the first thing we need to do is establish what we, we want basically want to get the number one cylinder firing on 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 number one cylinder so there's two ways to do that um you've got your your mark down here on your on your pulley for for your top dead center that's right in the center line where the v is uh there's a mark here and that's the mark on the pulley so you basically get that set up and uh, at top dead center say for example so this is one way okay close enough yep there so that's that top dead center and then what you need to do is establish whether these valves here have got clearance which they have but you can also tell to see whether this cylinder here which is number five which is the exact 360 degree opposite of this one so you've got just a quick pro tip if you're adjusting valve valves on cylinder one for example the top dead center on compression stroke just make sure that um, once you've done those adjustments you can then adjust those posi locks heights in comparison to the nuts on all other cylinders on all other valves just adjust the height don't lock them down this gives you an approximate location so that you will not get confused of which valves are actually opening and closing because if they're too wound out they'll just all be Free and you won't know what ones to adjust. Uh, 142536. 1425. So 5 is the second rotation. So this one here, basically, we want to go, we'll, we'll go back first. So we'll come forwards, and this, this uh, valve is closing. And that straight away, that one there is opening. So that's an overlap. So that tells you that it's firing on number one. The other way to prove that is to go backwards like half a turn. And then as you come forwards, put your finger in the plug hole for number one cylinder. And you should be able to feel the pressure, which I can, come up. So then take it up to top dead centre. And then you're going to basically adjust any cylinder that is uh, any valve that's actually loose so we've got these two here on cylinder one both of those need adjusting on on, on number one cylinder so i'll just grab my tools to do that I should have been a bit more prepared um, and with these yellow terra roller rockers they are all imperial well, these ones are so it's a 3 16th allen key and a 9 16th on the nut so these are the allen key is the actual lock and the nut is the is the adjustment so i'm just going to break that off i'll wind it back about half a turn and this one here is a little bit loose so so just basically do it up just you're using feel it's it gets a little bit tight but it also loosens off as you torque this up. So I'll just hold this here, this one, and tighten up the posi lock, and then recheck the clearance. Yep, that's good. 
and then go to your next cylinder, uh, your next valve. This one here, we'll recheck this one. That's actually good, that one. That's actually quite good. Uh, the, and then look for the next available loose loose rocker. That one's down, obviously. So this one's up, so we can adjust that one. That one's a little bit loose. So this, remember your Allen key is actually loosening the posi lock. So crack that off. Half a turn. And then just do this up. Just so that it nips up. Hold it in position. And then apply torque on the posi lock, the Allen key, while retaining this 916 in the same position. And then just check, see. Yep, that's good. I'll give it a little bit more actually. It's a little bit, just a little wee bit loose. So I'll just tweak this a fraction. That's it. Nice. Okay, now next one, this one here is clearly rocking. This one here is loose, so we can actually adjust this one. Okay, so same again. Put your 9 16th down and unlock with the posi lock. Just give this a bit of a tweak. Yep, that's good. Now we can move on to the other side and have a look and see these two definitely won't be needing to be done because that's rocking. This one here is loose. So as you can see the pattern here is basically one, those two is you do them together and each one of these other cylinders should have one that needs adjusting. And then when you do the other cycle, 360 degree turn, um, the opposite valve, so the next 360 degree turn and this one here will need adjusting and you know the opposite one of that one will need adjusting that one will need adjusting and these two will need adjusting and this one here will need adjusting so you kind of basically two rotations and you get the whole lot done so I'm just gonna loosen this off and just by feel lock it up It, nice nice fit there and then this last one here on number four cylinder Okay, so once that's done, you can move around, run whole complete revolution from your dot here. From here, go all the way around. That's half a turn. And line it back up to the dot again. And now this one here will be rocking, uh, will be loose. That cylinder's rocking, definitely. But these ones here need adjusting now. So we'll start with the cylinder that's firing. And then it'll be, so it'll be the two, the two valves on this one cylinder. And then the opposite valve that you didn't adjust last time on every other cylinder except for this one.
Let's take that off half a turn. Just go by feel. You just want to hold it so it nips up and I'll just give it about a fraction of a bit more because when you actually torque this up, tighten it up, it actually pull, it loosens the, in this case it loosens the adjustment. Yeah, that's nice. So half a turn there, back off. actually pretty good. I oh, will give it a bit more though. Back off half a turn. Now this one here, on number 6 cylinder. Oh, that's tight. Half a turn off. Right, we'll come round and this one here we need doing the exhaust port on this cylinder here on number three. Back it off half a turn. And this one here won't need doing so that's it that's done the whole lot so just go through and check all your adjust uh, your uh, posi lock adjusters to make sure that they're all tight last thing we want is one rattling off Done. Right, so that's the valve adjustment done. Um, that's 12 thou clearance on these. So this has got a um, a Kent cam in it, like a mild mild rate, uh, road cam, um, and uh, that's yeah the yellow yellow Terra roller rockers. So there was a lot of modifications that I had to do to get these uh, roller rockers right, um, which you can have a look at in some of my other videos. So hopefully. Uh, that gives you a bit of an idea um, and I'll give a couple of pointers in, in other videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.